Hi, and welcome back to Science with Miss Wardell. Today we're talking about the outer planets. Awesome. So, this is on page 356 and 357. It says the outer planets are so far away that even the fastest space probes take many years to reach them. Being active reading, so as we read um, these pages, we're going to underline the sentence that contains the main idea. We've talked about that a little bit. It's what it's mainly about. So what it's mainly about. Astronauts and probes will never land on Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, or Neptune, the outer planets. The outer planets are very different from the inner planets. These huge planets do not have solid surfaces. They are gas giants made up of mostly gases. All of the outer planets have many moons and are surrounded by rings made of dust, ice, or rock. Jupiter and Saturn are the largest planets in our solar system. Uranus and Neptune are the smaller and are the coldest. So think about this. What is the main idea here? What are we talking about? Right? We're talking about the outer planets, but also that these outer planets being so far away, well, that astronauts and probes, they'll never land on these planets. Never. Because they're so different. So the reason we're listing them and why they're so different is because we're trying to tell the reader that astronauts and probes will never land on these planets. because they are so far away. Here it talks about Jupiter has at least 63 moons. Astronaut, or astronomers think that Europe, Europa, one of the Jupiter's moons, has an icy surface that covers a cold, slushy ocean. Jupiter's atmosphere is, a constant motion, or is in constant motion. Its great red spot is a swirling storm that has raged for more than 300 years. Guys, if you've never seen it, see this big red spot right here? This is that big red spot on Jupiter. So for 300 years or more, it's went on. For each planet circle, that may help you identify it. Mm, okay, so for Jupiter, we might circle this, and we might say giant red spot. Okay. Um, for Saturn, let's read about Saturn real quick. It says, Saturn has thousands of rings. Scientists think that these rings are leftover pieces of comets, asteroids, or moons that have broken up long ago. Saturn's atmosphere has winds that can blow at speeds of 1,800 kilometers per hour. Wow! Which is many times faster than Earth's strongest hurricane wind. Let me focus. There we go. So something that helps us to identify Saturn is its rings. So let's say Saturn's rings. I mean, that's pretty, pretty iconic. Uranus tilts so far on its axis that it looks as if it's revolving around the sun on its side. Methane gas in its atmosphere gives Uranus its blue color. Uranus is very cold. Its temperature is about 215 degrees Celsius, which is also minus 355 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow! So what's really um, iconic about this planet is that it shows that it rotates sideways. So 
Uranus, Uranus, rotate. You can see the lines that kind of go like this. Sideways. How fun. All right, last one is Neptune. Neptune is the planet furthest from the sun. From space, the atmosphere looks blue. And sometimes, high white clouds of methane ice crystals blow across Neptune. Physical changes inside Neptune are thought to slightly increase its temperature. Neptune has 13 known moons. Triton is Neptune's largest moon. So, here, what's really iconic is they've kind of given you a close-up over here. And this right here is what's iconic about Neptune. This is, in fact, the methane clouds. So these are the methane clouds on Neptune. How cool is that? These are the methane clouds on Neptune. So these are really iconic features for all of these inner, I mean outer planets that we're talking about. How cool is that? All right, guys, thanks so much for listening. Bye.